In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with both of these programs. One is called Mod Builder, and the other one is called Animal Population Changer. Both of these programs were created by a developer modder by the name of MVision69, and you can find him at the Hunter Call of the Wild NexusMods.com. The first thing you need to do is to decide how many animals do you want on each of your maps. So we're going to be using first the, this program, the Mod Builder. You're going to come down here where it says increase your surf population. You're going to click that. Here you have the option of having two times the amount of animals all the way up to eight times the amount of animals. I myself usually stay at four times the amount of animals because if you increase it of five and from five and beyond, what's going to happen is you're going to get in some parts of the maps frozen animals. In other words, you're going to shoot, it, shoot an animal, and if they have other animals next to him or her, they're going to stay frozen, and they're not, they're not going to hear the sound. Now, if you don't like that, you don't care about that, then go ahead and go ahead and increase it. But like I said, this is something that you, uh, that you may run into in some part of the maps. Some part of the maps, it doesn't happen, but for that reason, I keep mine usually at four times the amount of animals. Then what I do is I add modification here, the animals, the created mod appears on the right hand side, and then I build the mod. And then you're gonna press where it says load to game. And now I'm gonna show you with this mod that was already created now, where did it go to? So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to your Steam account. We're gonna close this here down. Go to, go to Steam, where your game is, the Hunter Call of the Wild. You're gonna right click on it. You're going to go to properties. Then you're gonna go where it says installed files browse and here's where the folder was created the name of the folder is drop zone so having this folder here what this means now is that you if you went to the map right now without doing anything else you will have four times the amount of animals that the regular maps have so you will have more animals so now we're going to close all this down and we're going to go to your this pc where you see documents, you're gonna to go to your Avalanche Studios folder, you're gonna open it up, COTW, you're gonna click on it, saves the big long number. Now, if you have a folder here on top that says slots, you're gonna delete it. I don't have it because I already cleared mine. If you have anything here that says animal population, whatever number, you wanna delete that. Don't worry about it because it's gonna, the program is gonna create the animal population folder, I mean file again. So now we're going to come back here again, we're going to close this, and we're going to start the game. So now we're going to come here, we're going to choose the map that we're going to create all those amount of animals for. And this, for this tutorial purposes, we're going to use the uh, Layton Lake District. So we're going to go to there. Okay, so once we're here, we're gonna come here on the bottom, which is where I have this on my taskbar for easier access. We're gonna choose Animal Population Changer. And here's where we're gonna be doing the modifications of the amount of animals and the type of animals and all that good stuff. So we're gonna go to the hunting reserve that we chose, which is Layton. We're gonna click it. And then here is our already added up the four times the amount of animals that we did on the previous mud builder program. So here you have four times the amount of animals. Now, if you notice, most of the animals that you have here, the, they're more females than males, but we're gonna change that, we're gonna change it around. So we're gonna go here where it says gender count. We're gonna click one of them. Let's begin from the bottom. And then we're going to say, it says here that there are 351 females and there are 240 males. So, but we're going to increase the amount of males for the coyote. So we're going to put it to the right. You can put it to any level that you want. We'll leave it here. So now we're going to have 483 males versus 108 females because we want more males on the map. So we're going to update the animals. Then he'll show up here now the way it says 483 males and 108 females. We'll do that for the second one, where it has 400 
females and 200 males, but we want more males, like I said. Go to the right-hand side, and let's put 441 males to 159 females. We're going to update it. And then we're going to be doing this for the rest of the other animals, and we'll come back when we finish doing that. Okay, so all of these now were changed where you're going to have more males than females. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom animals and we're going to change the amount of diamonds that we want for each of the animals on this map, on the latent map, right? So we're going to go where it says here, trophy rating. And now here you have a choice. You can use all the first. That means that all these first that are available, you know, they're, they're going to be put as diamonds. Or you can choose individually. If you want albinos, orange, melanistic pie ball. Let's say I chose just those. And then on the right hand side, you can have them, the 483 coyote, you can have them, all of them be uh, diamonds, which I usually don't because it's not, you know, it's not, it's boring. If every single animal you shoot, every single male animal that you shoot on the map will be a diamond. So I usually put, so here will be, half of them will be diamonds, right? Around half of it. So I put a little bit to the left. So out of all these coyotes, you're going to get 193 that will be diamonds. So you update this here. And then it's going to show here. And then you're going to do the same for this one. Black bear. This one, uh, it's going. you're also going to be able to get the great one on the black bear, right? So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do the great one. So we're going to go where it says more great ones. All the way to the right is 441, right? But we don't want every single male animal on latent to be a gray one. Or you may want to have that. That's up to you, okay? But I just want, let's say, half of them to be gray ones, more or less. So I'm going to update it. Then I want, so out of 441, 225, are going to be great ones, right? So that leaves about 200 or so that are going to be other things. So the other 200, which is 235 here of the diamonds, I can have every single other animal, every black bear be a diamond with all these fur types, or I can have shoes individually, or I can have less than ha that be like 62 only be diamonds, or 148 9B diamonds. Here you have a choice. You can choose whatever amount of diamonds you want for the black bear on this map. So let's put it here, 100. And I want them to be uh, blondes, combination of blonde, cinnamon, dusky, uh, black. Or I can have them all by clicking here. So I'm going to unclick this. Then you're going to update the animals. 205 great ones out of those 100 will be black bear so that's that's 205 205 plus 100 is 305 so out of 441 the difference is going to be any other combinations of regular animals okay so when i go to the moose i can do the same thing that i did on these two i can change the amount of diamonds and i can change the amount of great ones now by doing this you created an animal population files and you have to pay close attention to this here because you're going to have to go and pick up that animal population file and put it into the Avalanche Studios folder in order for this to work. So you have to be very careful and, and remember where you saved it to, okay? So in my case, I saved it to uh, Users, Administrator, Desktop, APC, GI, Must, Animal Population Folder 1. That's where I'm going to find mine, okay? So you have to be pay attention to where you saved that, this animal population file that you created in what location you saved it at. So now you're gonna close all this down. You're gonna close the game down also. And then after you do that, you're gonna go back to this PC where I saved mine, which was a C drive, users, administrator, desktop, APC G GUI, then you're gonna go to mods, and here is level one. This one, a previous one that I uh, created, but I'm gonna delete this one. This one was for uh, 
uh, the Australia map. So I'm going to delete this one. So this one is the one that you just created, okay? So now what I do, I want to save this into another hard drive so I can always have it available because once I use this and, I, and if I delete it or I, or I clean it up, the red zones, this is going to be deleted. So I want to save it in a different hard drive. So I'll go back again to this PC and in my computer I have one, two, three different external hard drives. So I'm going to go to this one here, research, which is where I have it. And I'm going to look for Layton. I already created all these before. So Layton, I already had created one. So I'm going to make another folder here and name it L A two. You can name it whichever way you like. And I'm going to go like this and I'm going to drag this animal population file into my other hard drive. See, so I have it here permanently. I can delete this now and we'll go into the next step. So this is the animal population folder that I created, right? I mean the file that I put it into this folder. Now we're gonna go to this PC again. We're gonna go back to Documents, Avalanche Studios, COTW, Saves, the big number. Slots is here, see how it is? Now, now this animal population number one it's not the same as this animal population number one. This is the one that we played on to create this one. So we gotta do, you gotta remember is you gotta delete the one that was in the game. Because you haven't put you haven't added the one that you created. You you were playing with this one, the original one, right? So you're gonna delete this one because if you go back to the game, nothing's gonna happen. Like if you didn't do anything. So you gotta delete this one. And now you gotta drag this one, the one that you created, back into the game. So it's here now, and it remains here, of course, because you have it in a second uh, hard drive, right? So you just, actually what you did was created a duplicate by just uh, dragging it down here. And you can go to Slas and you can delete this. It, every time you see Slas, you can delete it. And now we're gonna go to the game. So here we have a legendary level nine coyote. In the background, we have a 10 fable, white tail, great one. Let's come this way and see what we can find out. We are on this lake right here. There should be some white tails on this section here. Level three, uh, Turkey. Another level three turkey. There's a great one back there. Another great one. We have the fable moose. We have another fable moose. There's a pie ball uh, diamond on the back. So with this program, like I said, you can get all those big animals that you can't get it on the regular map. Here's an albino uh, diamond, white tail, a regular diamond uh, moose, a fabled one uh, on the back here, another white tail albino, a regular white tail, a diamond turkey, and so forth. You have a melanistic uh, coyote, another level nine diamond with a level two next to each other. So as you see, you can do a whole bunch of things with these programs that you can't do playing the regular game. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a like and uh, add yourself to my uh, subscriber list so you can uh, see other videos that I'll be creating in the future. Thank you one more time and good luck. Bye-bye.